What's going on, fine people? Let's say that you wanted to create a flyer for a Halloween concert, and the only design tool you have available to you is Google Docs. Well, luckily for us, there are quite a few things that you can do in Google Docs that uh, will make a pretty nice looking flyer. So, first thing I'm going to do is change the background color of my flyer. So I'll do file and page setup and then right here is page color and I'm going to set that to um, kind of this dark gray. Now if you're doing this on your own you can pick whatever starter colors you want and that's perfectly fine. Okay so now um, we need to uh, plop in um, the title of what's going to uh, go down. So the method I'm going to show you is that you can use text boxes and then set them up so that you can drag them around. So I'm going to do insert and that's under drawing. It's called a drawing for some reason. Okay, in a drawing you can actually uh, draw lines and shapes and plop images in as a drawing. But I'm going to do a text box. So you click right here and drag it out. And my text box is showing, you know, 10 inches across. So I know I don't need it to be that big. We'll do it about like that. And then, since it's a text box, you have uh, a lot of options as to. Um, colors and stuff. So I'm going to choose this light yellow one and go with traditional Halloween um, colors. And then um, let's see, let's make the font bigger and we can always scale this back if it's too big. And then the font itself, um, Google Docs has a trick up its sleeve. There aren't that many fonts listed, right? So you go to more fonts, and there's a lot more. And I want myself a good display font, because display fonts are generally thicker and kind of stand out a little more. So let's see what we got. And here's one that I already used that I really liked called Bangers. I think it looked very, uh, very Halloween. So uh, I'm going to click OK and choose bangers okay and I'm just gonna type okay and Halloween concert don't quite fit with the exclamation point so I will scale back the drawing box gonna save and close now here is some of the magic okay that you need to do for all of these images that we make. Click on it and then this little box pops up. Right now it's inline and when it's inline you can't just drag it around wherever you want it to go. But if you change it to wrap text and you click you now have the ability to click this thing and move it wherever you see fit. And it's fantastic. That's what we want. So I'll put it up like that. Oh, it's not going to let me go above the margins. So I'm going to put a zero margin on it and let me raise it up a little bit. And let's also go to file and page setup and we're going to set the margins to uh, zero. Now we need to keep in mind if we do this that a lot of printers can't deal with that. But on a screen it's fine. It'll be okay. But if you plan on printing this thing you need to leave margin yourself if you set the margins to zero. Okay, so I'm going to leave a little bit of margin. That's plenty, but we still have plenty of room down here to use to uh, put our information in for the concert. Okay, so now um, I need to make another text box, and I'm going to center it up, but I'm going to make an actual box box out of it. So let's go to Insert and Drawing and New, and go to a text box. And we'll draw out another one. This one, you know, can be about like that. 
Um, now, uh, we did not focus on with the uh, the word Halloween concert is we can actually change the background color of the box. So I'm going to do a uh, light yellow one. That's the same one that I used for the uh, text that says Halloween color. And then I'm going to add a border color. Um, and for that, I'm going to go with this brown. And then if I click this right here, it's going to allow me to add a border on this box. Okay, so that's something I wanted to do. Now, uh, let's put in some details about uh, where the concert is, how much it costs, and all that. Let's make the font a little bigger. Right now, this doesn't look very appealing. So I'm going to go ahead and you don't always have to center stuff, but I'm just going to. And I can make my box a little bigger. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that. Okay, give myself a little margin here and then spread this out. Maybe not quite that much. There we go. And concessions will be available. I'm, I know how I'll deal with that. I'm going to add me some parentheses here and make it a little smaller, like the whole thing. So the way I'm highlighting with the keyboard is I hold shift, the shift key, and then use my arrow keys if you're curious as to how I'm doing that. Because uh, some people just don't even know that's a thing. There we go. Now, the last thing I'll take care of, which I probably should have done earlier, is let's change this font because I don't uh, don't care much for it. So I'm going to go with Meriwether. Um, that is a um, serif font, so it's got little embellishments on the letters. And since Bangers is a smooth looking font, it adds a little bit of variety. Okay, you just click save and close. And then we click on this box just like we did a while ago with the word Halloween concert. And you can move it wherever you want this to go. Okay, and looking at it, um, I think it's kind of dull. So I'm going to show you how we can go spice it up. If you ever need to edit one of your boxes, just double click on it. And then click on the box itself inside of the drawing tools. And one way that I can fix this up is to add a gradient. A gradient. Now what a gradient is, it's a fade from one color to another. That's a little more fancy. Now, if I go to custom, after I apply that gradient, I can change uh, the um, angles of the gradient itself. So I'll do 180 and that should flip it so that it's going kind of a different way. So I'll do save and close and here's my little you know info box. Um, okay now I'm gonna start adding pictures of who's gonna be playing and I'm only gonna show you one on the video and then we'll skip past it but I have three bands that are gonna play so we're going to just cheat and use some uh, real bands, okay? And then, you know, if this was a real um, rock concert or something, you can't just go out and use the Google image search on your flyers without getting permission from the band, okay? So I'm going to go to insert an image, search the web, and here's my little search for images. And I'm going to say that uh, Journey is going to play this concert. I'll put in Journey Band. Okay, and that looks okay as long as it's not proxied on the school network here. There we go. And I'll click on this. 
And we always go do this thing with wrap text. And I'm going to put some labels on the band here in a minute. And yeah, I'll just shrink it down kind of like that. Let's see. Let's pick somebody else that would that uh, make sure whenever you go to insert an image, you're not clicked on an existing drawing. Or it's not going to let you do anything. So I will move them manually to give myself some room. There we go. And now um, we can add some more drawings with the names of these acts. So make sure you don't have anything selected as it causes problems and you can see my little cursor flashing where I have zero margin insert drawing new we just want text now okay and I'm gonna go with bangers again because it looks kinda nice with this and I'm just gonna go with the same Halloween color for the background and I'll center it, make it a little bit bigger, and we'll make journeys first. And then I can shrink it down to fit that text, because I didn't know exactly how wide it needed to be. And this is not an exact science. Okay, you can still make a nice looking flyer, even though we don't have a lot of control. Uh, compared to you know something like InDesign, Photoshop, or even Word. So there we go. I'll save and close. I'll click on it. We have to do the same thing. The wrap text. And let's just give everybody kind of a label of who they are. Okay. And instead of having to recreate something from scratch here, I'm going to right click the journey title and copy and then we have to make sure to click where uh, there's not anything selected and do control V or right click and paste and then I'll double click oops I'll double click on journey and then let's change this to Savage Garden okay and then I can oops. I've got to get used to that with Google Docs. Go down here and put Savage Garden's little uh, label on. Okay. And then last, we will paste one more time. I'll show you the mouse way. Right click paste. Egg on it. You got to make sure you're not over top of something else when you do that. Garth Brooks. <laughs> I did it again. Oh well. Okay, and we'll put Garth's right here. Alright, and we can actually move journeys right here. Why not? And that's pretty much it. If you want to make a flyer and be able to drag some stuff around and place things on the screen, the trick is you're going to use your drawing new.